Hello and welcome to the iTreviews channel. We all know that to create good video, you need to use a large number of resources. An announcer, host, an editor, and a bunch of equipment for high quality sound and picture. And in the end, edit and render it all. A little spoiler, with Synthesia you can simply create videos from plain text in minutes. Technology does not stand still and now you can create professional videos from any device that has internet access and do it 10 times faster than you could have imagined. The main component remains creativity. In this review, we'll get acquainted with the Synthesia service that allows you to synthesize text in AI voice and AI face using one of 123 variations of avatars, of which about 70 are unique and 65 languages. And these values are gradually increasing. Moreover, you can create your own avatars, which we will also talk about in this review. What is Synthesia and what it can do? Synthesia was founded in 2017 by a team of AI researchers and entrepreneurs from UCL, Stanford, TUM, and Cambridge. The mission of the app is to enable all users to create video content without cameras, microphones, studios, video editing, and hiring third parties. All you need is text. Then select the desired avatar and a little creativity to set the frame. Then start the cloud rendering and the video is ready. The whole process is somewhat similar to creating a presentation in PowerPoint. There are about 60 ready-made templates that you can edit or manually add elements layer by layer in the form of background, image or video, text, shapes, music, and avatars scene by scene and create your own video using various effects. Each layer has its own parameters that can be modified easily and quickly. The application supports the drag and drop for all elements of your project. By the way, you can also import your PowerPoint presentation, add an avatar, text, and we get a finished product with voice acting and visualization. Cool, right? Synthesia is the best in delivering quality speech synthesis and avatars. Currently, they are number one in the industry for sure, but I have a complaint regarding editing tools, in particular, a limited amount of shapes, animations for objects, and scene transitions, a limited sound library, and finally, a vast array of background images without filtering. Well, nothing is perfect. Overall, it is of great benefit and value that such service as Synthesia is available now on the market. The ability to edit project deserves special attention. For example, you have created a video in English, but you would also like to make it in German, Russian, Spanish or any other available languages. We duplicate the current project, translate the text into another language using an external translator change the language and send the project back to render. Very simple and very fast, the main thing is to make sure that the translator you use has translated everything properly. Upon completion, you can also download subtitles for your video, for example, for integration into YouTube and other similar platforms that support subtitles. For convenience, there is also a screen record feature that inserts a background video which simplifies and eliminates the need for additional software, but you can also easily upload videos created by third-party applications. All projects you create can be downloaded in MP4 format with Full HD resolution 1920p10. 80. As for me, this resolution is quite low for today. On the other hand, this is understandable since the work and rendering of projects in UHD requires a lot more resources. Those who really need UHD can upscale the project in any desired and accessible third-party way. In addition to all of the above, 
Synthesia provides its own API for the average user. It is not useful, but for large companies and developers, this is a very important implementation. We won't go deep into the possibilities right now, but the most common ways to use the API are integrate Synthesia videos into your SAAS app, generate personalized videos at scale, and create a big batch of videos. Perhaps many, like me, will immediately become interested in creating their own avatar. So I did some research but hadn't been able to complete it fully since an avatar costs $7 per year. Nevertheless, I studied all the requirements for its creation and here is what I learned. First of all, know that your custom avatar will not have your voice, only synthesize one from the selection. The avatar will only be able for your account. Here's an example of what your recording for the avatar creation should look like. My avatar will look and move just like me. Today we'll talk about how positive thinking can help in stressful situations like public speaking. To implement the avatar, you will need 15 minutes of your speech recorded on camera in UHD with the NTSC standard and a frame rate of 29.97. Position the camera at the same height as the actor's eyes. Use a 3-point lighting setup. If it is not possible, no problem, just make sure the actor is well lit from the front and contrast with the background clearly. The background should be solid green or white. The sound should be clear and without extraneous noise. A nice audio microphone would be perfect, but camera audio will also work. You can learn more about the requirements for creating a custom avatar on the corresponding page. Go to your personal account, avatars and click on the request your own avatar and click the see details button. Here you will find all the answers to your question, as well as the script that you need to read to create your own avatar. From the day you provide the footage, it will take approximately 10 business days to create your custom avatar. It will be delivered directly to your Synthesia Studio account. After authorization in the Synthesia app, we see a fairly simple and intuitive interface. On the main page, we can import our presentation from PowerPoint and create new videos. Below, we have templates for preview and based on a suitable template, we can start creating a new video. Hello. This is an open title slide to use at the beginning of your video. Next comes a library with projects. Each video is available for preview and there is an additional menu which helps you to download videos, subtitles, create a double or a template, move the project, organize your workspace, etc. It is also possible to merge several projects into one. The videos tab is the main place of your projects. You can Put things in order by sorting and just like on the main page, you can preview a video. Also, there is an additional menu button with similar functionality. The next tab is the recycle bin. Your projects and templates stay here for 30 days after they are deleted, then they are deleted permanently. The templates and avatars tabs belong to the assets category. The templates display blanks that are also available on the main page and there is a tab with custom presets. And of course a list of all avatars unfortunately without mine. Also below we see the Synthesia news feed, covering various updates, for example new avatars, webinars and other information on the improvements of the service. The Academy and Health Center tabs do not carry any functionality other than redirecting to the corresponding informational pages. As for our profile, everything is standard here. You can change the password, personal information, notification settings, and you can generate API keys for developers. Academy and Technical Support Despite the intuitive interface and tips for operating the Synthesia app, you can always go to Synthesia Academy and study the more detailed material provided. The Academy has about 70 different materials available on various topics, all divided into tutorials, beginner courses, trending lessons, recorded webinars, and storylines with Synthesia. 
I'm sure that each user will find a suitable lesson for himself in the academy. For example, you want to improve your training videos, but you don't have the experience in structuring? Here is a lesson just for you. FOCA is our framework to help you create better videos today. A 45-minute webinar on the FOCA framework is available as well. Or maybe your videos don't hold the viewers because they aren't engaged. This quick tip will show you how to easily and beautifully combine Synthesia videos and quiz slides to create assessments that leave your viewers engaged instead of overwhelmed. If you have any questions, I'm sure you will find the answer in the academy. If you don't find an answer, you can visit the help center or contact technical support directly. You will definitely find the answer to your question there. Features of Synthesia Video Editor Let's see what the creative process looks like and what opportunities Synthesia provides us with. Click the Create Video button and let's get started. As we can see, the interface is very simple. On the left, we have the scene, in the middle, the main preview window of our project, and at the bottom, a window for our text that will be converted using AI. The right block is functional. Here you can choose a template, uh, change the avatar and background, add text, shapes, images, and music. Everything that you add to your project has some parameters all of which are editable. The only parameter that all elements have in common is the position of the layer, reminiscent of working with layers in graphic applications such as Photoshop. You can also upload your own music, your own images and backgrounds. As for the backgrounds, the screen recording feature is available here. Very convenient and helpful. By adding an element to the project, for example text and selecting it, uh, two additional features appear, Format and Animate. Thanks to these functions, you can create some kind of interactivity, but unfortunately it is limited. The number of animations for object is limited as well. Let's say the set is standard and from the animation parameters you specify Delay and Duration. By creating another scene, additional interactivity becomes available to you in the form of a slight transition. In total, 12 transition animations are available. Text-to-speech software Well, now we have reached probably the most interesting feature – converting text into voice. Everything is simple. We insert the necessary text and the application immediately displays the approximate duration. You can also put the cursor in the right place for us to display what second we are at and you can select a piece of text to find out its duration. This is very handy for implementing presentations and animations for the components we need in our project. You can also choose a different voice or dialect from the list. Just look at how many English variations there are. I don't know why, but you can choose Russian voice acting for English and it sounds so natural is if uh, Russian speaks English. Cool and a little funny. For tips on improving pronunciation or breaks, go to an existing page and read the documentation provided. Video generation. Let's try to generate our video and see what our avatar will look like. Click Generate Video, fill in all the fields and see the approximate time to render the project. Let me start and check if it corresponds to the declared time. After completion, I will download the video and see what size and bitrate the file has. During the rendering process, the operation lagged immediately after the refresh it turned out that the video was ready. Then we duplicated the project and started the rendering one more time. In this case, the estimation time was false, and in fact the project was generated twice as fast, in just 5 minutes. As a result, we get the following data, full HD resolution, that is 1920 by 1080 pixels, Data rate 4,912 kbps. Total bitrate 5,025 kbps. 
frame rate 29.97, audio bit rate 112 kbps. The small part of the finished project you saw in the beginning of this video. In terms of pricing, there are two options, personal and corporate. Personal is 30 bucks per month, you get 10 video credits, one credit equals one minute of video, that is, you are limited per month and can create and render projects whose total time does not exceed 10 minutes. It seems to me that this is not enough and if someone really wants to use Synthesia, then a corporate subscription will suit the best. As for the corporate subscription, the price varies depending on several factors, but it's fair to say the price is loyal, so if you are really interested in this platform, you can contact the support team and get the proper price for your needs. Support is very pleasant and polite, I can vouch for that personally. Conclusion I would like to start with the pricing. Let's be honest, 30 bucks for 10 minutes is an excellent value because how much would the equipment and other services cost for a typical video production? If you need a corporate subscription, you need to create a lot of videos with Synthesia, the price per minute of video will be even lower. As for the capabilities of the platform, Synthesia copes perfectly with the main task of converting text to video. New avatars are released on a weekly basis and particularly demanding users can create their own avatar for 1000 bucks annually. If we are to look at the platform as a video editor, there are quite a few great features as well as room for improvement. But as I said earlier, you can edit your video by yourself in professional apps such as Adobe Premiere or DaVinci if necessary. Whether you need to create informational videos, product or service presentations, how-to videos or want to turn your PDF document into something interactive with AI narration, then Synthesia is the way to go. The application is easy to use and does not require specialized installation skills and equipment. All you need is a couple of minutes of time and a PC or laptop with internet access. Unfortunately, Synthesia does not work with mobile devices. Finally, if you want to try out Synthesia, there is a demo button on their page that will allow you to create a 30 minute demo video. If you have any questions or comments, we will be happy to help too. Thanks for watching, put the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you soon in our reviews. Bye.